Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. I'm Zhen from Zhen Tea, a Zhen Tea we specialize in fine tasting great Chinese tea. In this YouTube channel, we share videos about how to brew tea, tea troubles, and much more. So be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're also a tea lover. And if you like uh, the content today, give it a like that would really help our channel grow. In this video, we're gonna talk about Qianliang Cha. To be more specific, we're gonna talk about how Qianliang Cha is pressed. Qianliang Cha is a dark tea from Anhua in Hunan province. It is also known as Hua Juan. To most Chinese people, Hua Juan means this. But to tea people, Hua Juan is the nickname of Qianliang Cha. Qianliang literally means a thousand grams, but it is not one kilogram because the tea was invented in the old times and the old measurement is quite different than what we have nowadays. So the one sleeve now is uh, just a bit over 36 kilograms.这个的人就是底下的那个拉的就可以收收的然后就是几个人上面一压一压就这个就是可以那个收收收的就啊那上面那个拉的那些都是那个收的这个就是里面的宋叶和宗 这个中片跟那个要放两块是吧两个啊它这个是为了防潮它是这个茶点的这个中的里面的茶就不会漏到外面啊也那不会漏到外面也可以用其他的东西啊它有没有防潮啊什么的这种功能啊有因为有那个增
when I saw the palm bark, that really reminds me of uh, the old bed we used to use. The, the kind of a bed we would see in our grandparents' house before we have the modern mattress. Palm barks are, were really popular as the material because it's uh, it's actually a very uh, great material. It wicks away the uh, moisture from the body and uh, it stays warm in the winter and cools in the summer and the material itself is very uh, like firm and strong you basically if you have a, a mattress uh, of a palm bark it lasts uh, the whole life uh, for this reason it makes a great sense that they put some of this palm barks as the lining for Qianliang Cha and I also want to mention that this kind of a moisture proof or when I use the word seal it really doesn't mean airtight or like a vacuum space like a, that kind of seal because to most uh, uh, tea for aging or say dark tea uh, this kind of perfect seal isn't really desired as the tea needs uh, quote unquote to breathe so this kind of a palm bark, the bamboos and the reed leaves, they, they can let the tea breathe. But at the same time, if there's too much moisture in the tea, they can let it escape. And if there's a bit more in the air, they can also absorb that before this moisture touches the tea. What you're seeing now is the traditional uh, pressing process of Qianliang Cha. Though much of the tea process is mechanized nowadays, this part is still done manually. And this uh, non-stop repetition of pressing and tightening lasts for about 30 minutes till it's done.
When this pressing step is done, the qi will be placed in somewhere sheltered but with a great airflow for drying. This drying process traditionally takes for a year or so, but nowadays it can be shortened to several months. This is already made for the Qian Liang Cha. 